Monday morning, 10 a.m. Or, hey, whenever y'all watching this. It's the day at the Super Bowl. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rewind, rewind. Y'all know I'm a little crazy. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, what's up, cousins? It's the day after the Super Bowl. And if you watched last vlog, you know where I got to go this week and what I'm getting ready for. So, if you didn't, go back and watch that. But, um, today is the Olympics. You know, the day where you got to do a whole bunch of stuff that you got to get done before you go out of town. And thankfully, not much of it is beauty. I only have to get my hair done. Like, my nails are done, my lashes are done, my eyebrows are done. Purr. I just got to get my... Oh, murr. Shout out to Jackie. Yo. I just got to get my hair done today. And I got to go to the... That's the only beauty thing I got to do. I got to go to the doctor. I got to uh, pick up some stuff that I got to take with me from like three different locations. I have to, I have a table read for Skin Queen. And I, I don't know if I was supposed to tell y'all that yet. Ah! Skin Queen 2 on the way. Ah. Right now I'm getting gas and the fact that the gas, okay, I was about to say, it's at $72, I was about to say, and I wasn't even on E, so pump the brakes. Let me get out and get the gas. I got a doctor's appointment at 11.30, it's about 10.45. We got shit to do today, we gotta go. We gotta stay on time. And I'm doing I'm doing pretty good starting off, so I'm not frazzled. But we gotta keep focused today. So let's get as much as we can. Cause we only got one night only. No, we, we got 24 hours, but you get the point. Alright, let's go. So child Dante was getting me together. Getting you together. Now I see the day. Oh, oh come on, adjustable thing. That's what I'm saying. You gotta go to the salon and get your hair shampooed. Yes, done, done right. Why are we coloring your hair black? You know what? That's none of their business. <laughs> but <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. These are my cousins. They know I got gray hair. I be wearing. It. Dante is professionally dyeing my hair because he told me I need to stop putting that box dye in my head. No box color. Too much metals. It's too many metals. It's not healthy for you. So this is your sign. To go get your hair done by a professional hairstylist, a professional like Dante. Okay, dye. Let them dye it. Don't be putting all that cheap stuff in your head. Now, is that okay to put on weaves? Yeah, you can put it on. Yeah, I will put it on there because you're gonna get rid of that hair. Yeah, yeah it, ain't it ain't your hair. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but not on your real hair. So. I mean, but I always suggest professional products over. Cause you a professional. Over the counter. Cause you a professional. You know, yeah, yeah, at first, but you know, secondly, it's just better. It's yeah. like the molecules and the ingredients are better. Like everything's just better. Okay, you're right. So we need to treat ourselves better. Treat yourself better. Better. Okay, mm -hmm. look how we removing that color off that hairline. You ain't gotta leave here with old. <laughs> like you the came, baby. like like you left the barber shop, child. <laughs> oh come on, barber shop. <laughs> that was like cousin it. Damn. Right. She black. They so black. It's pretty. Oops, look at that. Inches. Y'all, that's crazy. It's breast length for sure. The master stylist himself. Hey. Ow. Mm -hmm. We're trimming them ends. Like, if all of that is terrible, then take it off. Yeah, all this would be fine. Okay, take it off. I mean, I got hair to spare. For you and me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, y'all can't see the final product yet because we had to pin curl it because it's raining. Because it's raining. It's raining and it's, it's raining. ugly outside. And we ain't finna waste this pretty style hanging. Okay. <laughs> so she gonna be right in these pin girls until it's time to take her down. But Dante did a phenomenal job. And if you in Atlanta, make sure you book with him at Dante Savoy on social media. And he gonna get on his content too. I'm gonna make him. But yeah, a master stylist that know what they're doing, they got a license, they went to school, that's not gonna fry you, die you, and lay you to the side. Ain't gonna fry you, die you, lay you to the side, you. Mm -mm. You just might get your hoodie a little wet, that's all. Right. No, we just blow drying my hoodie right now. So if I have to put it on after the table read, 
It won't be wet. But I think that should be good, though. The outside is dry. It's that no, inside. it feel it feel dry. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Like big worm, big perm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, it feel like <laughs> okay. girl, a <My> girl. <laughs> Robert and Jacobo. Robert and Jacobo. I made it to the paper. Line. David, you want to read it? Finally. Okay. <laughs> you say you've been practicing in the mirror. <laughs> okay, to be or not to be. Give him a roll. Give him a roll. <laughs> right. Yes. Let's hear your saying. Moses, can I have you read also? Luciano. Yeah, Luciani. An auction host. Sasha, I'll also have you read Victoria. I'm okay, but I was going to say just put some down because yeah. sometimes people need to wet their whistle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right here with the whistle, yeah. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> we hear it's being going to on the way. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> All right. Our Andre's already in character. Come on, Andre. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we get to come together and do what we love to do, oh God. We just ask that you use us behind the camera, in front of the camera. No one on this set, no one in this cast and crew is more important than the other, oh God. We just thank you that you have collectively used all of our gifts to bring this vision together. We hope that we so serve your purpose, oh God. We thank you for friendship, for fellowship. We just ask that all of our gifts be just uh, used to glorify you, oh God. We say rest in mm -hmm. peace to Miss Jackie O, <laughs> our angel scheme queen, and thank you for everyone volunteering their time to be here tonight. Um, bless our leader, cast seekers, our director, our writer, producer, to um, just lead the ship in a great way. Um, traveling mercies and grace as we head overseas to tell this story. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me choke on my food. I have so many versions of this story All right. <laughs> on my computer. Is this anyone's first time at a table read? Oh, David. Okay, David. Yeah. Well, take it serious because you could get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I just went. Mine. I have been in a type of read where somebody got fired. Yeah, though. or yeah. empty press. Oh, yeah. Right, because the way they read. Yeah. And they didn't know they Lazy. lines like that. Yeah. They got fired on the spot. Can you please don't come to a table read? Yeah. yeah. Do not. I learned that quick. Hey, guys. Yes, you see the hair? Okay, it's the next day, Tuesday. You know, I'm supposed to be going out of town, but some things came up with production, so I can't go down today. Um, I probably will just wait it out, which means I technically got my hair done for no reason, but then again, I didn't because I got a whole content studio and I can come and shoot content. So that's what I'm doing. I pulled up at the studio today, um, getting the internet fixed, Comcast people did a great job of getting the internet back working in the, throughout the whole building. So yeah, so I'm about to do my makeup and then shoot some content for you guys. So, so my hair don't go to waste, period. Okay guys, so I've been at the content, it's like 6 o'clock. Is it 6 o'clock? Yeah, it's 6.10. I literally just finished shooting content for the content studio space. It's now available for rent. And I should give you guys a full tour. I just like literally locked up most of the rooms and closed everything and cut the lights off. I'm about to get ready to leave, but I wanted to just give y'all an update. The studio is available to rent now. It has an Instagram page. I'll link it below, but it's visionaire, like millionaire, but visionaire. Visionaire Production Studios here in Atlanta, Georgia. So come check us out. It's available for rent. You can come create and bring all your visions to life here. And yeah, so I just got through creating content for the studio, for myself, for a bunch of different things. And now I did my makeup on live. I cut these lights off so you like, can't see, but I did my makeup on live. It looked really good. Yeah, I'm having a good productive day. Now I gotta go home and just get a bunch of work done on the computer. I'm probably just going to try to find something to put on TV or something to listen to and get the work done on the laptop. So, yeah. I didn't go out of town, but guess what? Still so much got done. And I utilized the, out of my hair being pressed because y'all know I'm trying not to put heat in my hair. And they put, made me put heat in my hair, and I didn't even go out of town. So, that pissed me off. 
But regardless, we got it done. We utilized it and it did not go to waste. So, period. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I just got home. I did stop at Target on the way home. Okay, get into the luscious, luscious hair. Anyways, I stopped at Target on the way home because I wanted, I was out of makeup remover wipes and I wanted to try um, a makeup remover cleansing balm. So I just got this CeraVe one. I'm gonna put this on or try this one tonight when I do my skincare. I also got these glass cooling facial things. I just came home and immediately washed them in the sink. I'm putting them in this Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. So they can get cold it says specifically do not freeze so it says specifically do not freeze so i'm not putting them in the freezer um what else i got from target was i got these little food container glass food container jars they were in like the five dollar section um i want to cut up some fruit and put it in there so i can take fruit with me on the go that's what i think i'm going to use these for and then i really needed a belt because Look, these pants I wore today, can you see? They're cute, right? But, you know, she ain't got no waist because she be wearing her waist trainer, you know, but um, I went to Target to get a belt. So they had three belts on sale. So your girl just got them. So let me show you. This was the one I really liked. Got this one. It's like black with a little gold and this was only eight dollars okay got a little belt and i got these two they were only four dollars super cute oh yeah and i got a retinol because all the girls been raving about having a retinol oil and i don't have one so we're gonna see what that do Hey guys, so, oh, happy Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day, and I just got through, um, it's actually like eight o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top, not cruising those streets. But um, anyways, it's Valentine's Day, hence why I'm wearing pink. And I was, I haven't talked to y'all all day because I was doing work, and then I started to get dressed around like three, four o'clock because me, my sister, and my mom, we were supposed to be going to dinner, but the restaurant was super packed. So we was like, you know what? Let's just cancel it and do another day. So I was already dressed, and I wanted to like feel Valentine's Day because I was low-key sorry that I couldn't go see Carlos today. But... I'm not going to stress about it. It is what it is. He sent me some beautiful flowers. Y'all want to see? Let me tell y'all. Let me show y'all these flowers. So pretty. He sent me a bunch of flowers. He sent me another little gift, but you know. So I'm really grateful. But I didn't get to spend time with him. I haven't really gotten to talk to him for real. He's filming. So whatever. I don't know. I just was like, I'm still going to do something to make myself feel special because we didn't go out to eat. So I cooked a dinner. Now, granted, it is a Trader Joe's bag of lo mein, chicken lo mein, but I didn't really know what else to make. And I wanted to feel like I was eating out, but not paying to eat out. And I also made broccolini, but I put some of the broccolini in the lo mein. So let me show you. And then I just got my little, you know, um, this one is a sugar-free. I'm out of poppy. I got to get some more. But this is like one of those um, ice, whatever. I forgot what they call but... It's the strawberry lemonade flavor. But yeah, you see, I made some lo mein. Can you see? It was a Trader Joe's, so it was really easy to make. But boom, had that. Got my little glaze. And I'm, this is my Valentine's Day dinner, y'all. Mm -hmm. I miss my man. I'm not going to lie, I miss my man. But hey. Mm -hmm. I'm asking the Lord to not make me crazy, too. Mm. That's actually good. Okay, Trader Joe's. I'm trying not to be crazy is what I'm saying, because I feel like I be being crazy sometimes. Like, I really had a whole attitude that I couldn't be with my nigga today. And that really pissed me off. Like... Mm -mm. No, 
If you keep jumping up because you want something, you must smell it. It's good as hell too, but no. I seasoned it only a little bit, like, because I didn't know what it was going to taste like. I put a little complete seasoning. And I, of course, I seasoned the broccolini when I cooked it with garlic and red pepper. But this is actually good. I'm about to stock this down. And I think I might just put on like a love movie, a romantic movie or something. And watch TV while I, I edit the vlog for this week. I got dressed in cute for nothing. I'm going to have to run this outfit back. So when you see me out, mind your business. And this outfit, I don't want her nothing. Because I repeat clothes, I did. I did get a little bit of the flower stuff on it when I was grabbing the flowers. But that'll come out. So yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope that you feel loved. And even if you are alone, even if you long, alone or feel lonely, or both, or if you are in a relationship or if you're single, I love you and I want you to know that you should love yourself. I have to work on that too because it's not no reason why I should have had a whole ass attitude because I couldn't be with my man. When I got me, I could love, you know? So, this for myself too, okay? Okay. Okay? You need to learn to love yourself. It should not be aggravating you because you can't be with your nigga. Like, I had a whole ass attitude. A whole attitude. I'm going to work on me. Y'all work on me. Like, I don't know how to make me feel good. It is what it is. I love y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, don't do this at home. So it is Friday. It's Friday, child. And I thought I wasn't going to see Carlos anymore because it didn't work out earlier in the week. So I thought we just wasn't going to do it. You feel me? This man asked me today, did I still want to come? And I was like, sure. And then production calls me. And I didn't think it was going to be like today. But it's like tomorrow morning. Like, I didn't know they was gonna be like, okay, boom, like now. It's like, well, you didn't even give me no heads up. Like, why you ain't give me a few days notice or child, I'm frazzled, okay? All that to say, I am frazzled, okay? Good thing my hair is still pressed out, so it's done. It's kind of oily now, it need to be recurled. I done tried to do that little bun curl thing two nights in a row, it ain't whole shit okay um it is 7 15 let me put my phone charger it's 7 15 p.m you know how we didn't make it to dinner for valentine's day with my family we were supposed to be doing that tonight at eight so i gotta go to dinner at eight but before that remember how i also wanted to um make a college i, I don't know if i told y'all that i wanted to make a basket for Carlos, like a going to college, like a care package. Well, I didn't go buy the stuff for the package because I thought I wasn't going. But now that they call me last minute and I got to, and I'm going. Now I got, I want to go. Let me, <laughs> let me not go. Like, like, I want to go. I want to go see my man, but it's just like, damn, y'all didn't give me heads up for me to get my life together. So it's 7.15. They just emailed me my, oh my God, they just emailed me my travel itinerary. I leave at 8.59 a.m. I have less than, oh, this is like a real race. I have less than 12 hours to go to Target, get make a basket, get shoes from Carlos' house for, that he want me to bring down there, pack, and find somebody to watch ED. I'm going to have to ask my sister. I got to make this basket. Go to I got to go to Target, make a basket, right? It's just like my mind is going crazy thinking about all the shit I got to do. So I have to go to Target, make a basket, then go out to eat by 8 o'clock. It's 7.15. So I have like a 30-minute window block in Target to make a basket to find things that are like, here's your college. Because it's like midterms. So he needs like a refresher little box of like, I know you're away at school. Here's some things you might need and want, right? Boom. Cute. Thoughtful. 
romantic. I also have a Valentine's Day gift for him that he did not get because he sent me my Valentine's Day gift to the house and I thought I was going to see him. So I'm taking him his gift. Okay, then I have to do that in 30 minutes. Max, 20 is ideal. So I can be at dinner by 8. Leave dinner by at least 9.30. Maybe go by his Carlos house to get his stuff. And then head back home, pack. What am I gonna do with Evie? Pack. I have to give Evie a bath. I cannot send her to nobody house smelling like that. Um, give the dog a bath. You feel me? Then I'll drop Evie off at my sister's on the way to my early ass flight. Early ass flight. Or maybe she could follow me home from dinner. The kids can help me give Evie a bath. Oh, put them to work, make them get sleepy and tired, and then they can take Evie home. I pack and maybe grab the shoes on the way to the airport in the morning. That's I like plan B. I like plan B. You got to plan that shit out, and then that way I can get a ride to there. Look at that. Okay, boom. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so pull them to Target. Let's get it. We got to focus. It's the final countdown. They really gave me seven hours. Again, another sprint. Let's go. I am walking into dinner. I'm late as hell. It's 8.15. Let me get hot tell it in there because they waiting on me to get seated. Come on, Tristan, catch it. No, no, no. Be serious. Over here. Over here, man. Over here. Go. Ooh, that was so close. And go. Oh, man. Okay, one more time. And oh, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Okay, guys, made it to dinner, got back home, didn't have to give Evie a bath because my sister followed me to the house. She took Evie, so I don't have to worry about her, and Carlos said he don't need no shoes, so I don't got to worry about that, but I do got him some 85 South gear and the stuff for the basket, so I just really have to focus on getting packed. It is 10.30. It is 11 o'clock. No, it's 10. It's 10. It's 10.15. It's 10.15. Okay, period. So we're not doing too bad. I can pack and be in bed by midnight, maybe one o'clock, probably more like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can get up and get to my airport. Um, my bad. I'm on. I'm actually talking to y'all from on my last vlog. I love that y'all like that. Um. Oh, that's good advice, cousin. Oh, that's some good advice. Y'all giving me some, not love you for real blood, cousin. It's like, why you had to put blood in caps? Like, <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all giving me good advice. I like this advice, cuz. Shout out to everybody that's watched the vlog. Um, Rise and Dale, Arena 979, Letitia Luxury, Luxuries, um, Jayla Bone In. Who else? Juju the Virgo. Authentically Brittany. Planets 111. That's some good advice. And can you read? Okay. I love y'all. Okay, see, focus. I'm all on YouTube. That ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be packing. All right, let me go upstairs. Let me get myself together. I'll be right back, cousin. Okay, guys, so... I pretty much packed all my clothes and underclothes and shoes and my carry-on Louis. Um, I packed all of Carlos' clothes in my biggest suitcase because he wants me to bring him these 85 soft clothes and then bring back clothes that he already took. I'm going to put in a carry-on his Valentine's Day gift. Hopefully that's fine. Please, Lord, don't let them steal my shit. Please, Lord, don't let them steal that shit. Okay. That's in there. And then, y'all want to see what I got in the basket? And you know what's crazy is, like, 
This man ain't finna care about this basket not one little bit, but it's okay. I'm doing it because this is what I do for people I love, whether he appreciate it or not. So I got him this water, drink more water, and it got like a little thing he, in the handle so he can carry this with him like while he at school. You know, every college kid needs snacks. So we got beef jerky. He loves peanut m and I got him a big bag. And even though he don't eat noodles, but it's like every college kid needs some noodles. So I got him two packs of noodles and some Reese's. Um, those are the snacks. Then I got him this like lightweight small little portable charger you need that for class and a candle to make it smell good and i got this little faux grass it came with these little um flowers but we don't need the flowers i'm just gonna put the faux grass this is like an easter basket but i'm gonna put the faux grass at the bottom of the basket i got this little basket that is is gonna be the basket for it but he can also use this to take his toiletries and stuff to the bathroom you know, and I know he gonna leave this basket down there, and it's like that that was a like twelve dollar basket. Like, don't just leave that. I'm gonna be like, if you don't want this basket, let me bring it home. <laughs> is that petty? <sighs> oh, this is too many flowers, bro. And they just fell everywhere. All these flowers just fell all on the ground. Um, but yeah, make this little basket. This is so thoughtful. Like, I wish he was thoughtful like this. But I guess that's why I'm the woman. I'm going to show y'all. Dang it. This big old jug kind of make it don't fit. Okay. Okay, I love it. He probably is not going to get this for life. But it makes me happy to do little things. Oh, yeah. And my Valentine's Day cards, I need to put with the gift. Yeah. yeah. I wish. Oh, I should pack sweatsuits around the basket so things don't get thrown all over. That's what I'm going to do. All right. And then after that, all I have to pack is like my iPad, my camera, extra batteries, and the toiletries that I'm like my skincare routine. And they were all packed. So probably see you in the morning because I need to just like make sure I have everything and get ready for bed because I have an early flight and I do still have to go by his house to grab some things. So TTYL. <laughs> I touch that five for you. I do that three four times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch I do it. All that I'm around, you scared to do. I'm not. As long as you joking, now it's for me. I ain't got it. Okay, I made it to New Orleans. Ew, what's up, baby? Now, you know, I used to go to school in Louisiana, so I do got like a little fake New Orleans accent. 
I gotta get in, into character first before I just throw it on. But anyways, I just made it to the rental car. Um, I made it smoothly through everything, got my bags. Guess who was on my flight because I was sitting in first class? Guess who was sitting in first class? She wasn't sitting next to me, but she was like a couple, like two rows behind me. Kiki Palmer, y'all. She was so sweet. And I didn't get to like say nothing to her. But when we was getting our bags, she was like cheesing in her phone. Like somebody was texting her something funny. And then when she looked up, I was like, damn, I think that's Kiki Palmer. She looked up and like, I guess she heard my brain talk. And she saw me and then she smiled real big. And I smiled like, hey, girl. So I was like, hey, hey. Like we saw each other, you know. But it wasn't the right time. And, and because I travel a lot with Los, I understand how he don't be feeling like being bothered when he's traveling. And I know how like crazy travel days can be. So I didn't even want to bother her. But yeah, anyways, I got the address to the house. And I'm about to head that way. Period, baby. I'm about to head that way to the house. So let's go. And then tell me why, cousins. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. But the lady who checked me in, like, who gave me my rental car, she was like, girl, you look so sleepy. And I felt like, the fuck kind of compliment is that? That's not a compliment. That was something you could have just kept to yourself. Like, she went out her way to be like, girl, you look so sleepy. Like, like literally, like, five minutes ago. And I don't even feel like I look just so sleepy for you to be noticing it and then telling me. But anyways, I don't know. I'm trying not to take that personal, but because of that, I feel like, should I put on makeup? <laughs> like, I want to be cute for my man. And this bitch just really just burst my bubble real quick. I'm like, okay, I done took my hair out. I'm like, I got a fresh blowout. But you really just tried it. I don't know. I think I might do a little sprucing up in the car before. Because I thought I looked fine until she was like, you look so sleepy. But you know what? That's I, I am going to spruce up, but that's the part of me that need to not give a fuck about what people think. I need to work on that. That's what I need to work on. You need to not give a fuck about what people think. Because, bitch, you look tired working at this. You don't... Let me shut up. Bring it back in. Don't tell me I look tired. And I think I might be getting a little sniffles. Ugh. Anyways, let me go see my man. That's going to make everything better. Watch, I'm going to be healed, happy, healthy, and glowing as soon as I see that man. <laughs> okay, cousins, I did break down and pull over at the racetrack and did, like, just a little light makeup really quick in the car. Because I'm not trying to be on nobody's camera or seeing my man looking dusty or sleepy. He looks so sleepy. Ugh. Anyways... So I made it to New Orleans. I'm about to go pull up on my man in at the house. In case I don't jump back on, and if I'm not allowed to, this is the end of the vlog. If you want to hear about what happens in New Orleans and see everything that goes down, you got to catch it next week. Um, that's why you should be subscribed anyway. So thank you for tuning in to my vlog. Thank you for watching another vlog on my channel. Um, yeah, subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in next week so you can see what goes on in New Orleans and how it goes down. No, I'm just playing. Ain't shit going. It's like, girl. Anyways, I'll see y'all next week. If you want to see New Orleans, see me next week. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. I love y'all. Okay, bitch, it's like, how many kisses you gonna kiss? <sighs>